Welcome back to the Roadshow. This morning in the buzz, it was a hot issue during the elections, but Colorado and Washington have approved marijuana for recreational use for the first time in the U.S. Now just 48 hours after the vote, the National Marijuana Business Conference convenes in Denver today. Business owners and others in the industry have planned two days of lectures and discussions about what the ballot measure means for the businesses. They are still uh, plenty of questions. The approval could lead to big profits, but the gov governor of Colorado told voters not to uh, quite, quote, break, uh, break out the Cheetos or the goldfish just yet, as the federal government still prohibits it. Meantime, now that Massachusetts voters have approved the use of marijuana for medical purposes, questions remain over how the drug will be distributed. Opponents say they are still concerned that the state public department won't be able to prevent abuse of the system. It's a mouthful. You know, you're always going to get those who will abuse everything. anything. Right. Everything and anything. You know, drugs, mm -hmm. alcohol. It might even be, you know, just the right, the freedom to do something in particular. They're going right. to abuse that power and whatever, and you kind of have to set those people aside. If it's sure. for medical use, I know they've, they've come to terms with a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. It's helping a lot of people. Who are so in I pain. I can understand that. Right. When we're talking recreational use, I feel that can get a lot more out of hand than it would in, you know, a place like Massachusetts, for that matter. Right. A lot of we, even the, the medical use, we know that California, you know, you can get it for oh, medical yeah. purposes. However, I mean, let's, let's be honest. You get prescriptions for everything. Yeah, every, every actor or performer you see uh, goes to the doctor and gets a prescription for it, saying that they are stressed out, they're this, they're that. There's always a way that these folks are getting around the system. If you really need it for medical purposes, if it's for cancer or something like that, right. yeah. I get that. If it's going to give somebody a little peace of mind, I get that. Also, I was reading this morning, a lot of people were in, you know, for it because it takes the police out of the situation so that yeah. they can concentrate mm -hmm. on other things. Because we all know that anybody who really wants this is going to be able They're to find, find a way to get it. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it. legal here for medical purposes right. in Rhode Island. So, you know, I know a lot of people who, who've needed to use it, and I appreciate it because I think if people use marijuana for medical purposes rather than becoming addicted to painkiller drugs, sure. I'm all for that. Yeah. Um, in regards to using it as a recreational use, I'm a little fearful because I think that it would take a little while. Like when you go to Europe, for example, mm -hmm. and you're younger, you can still drink a little bit and people there don't go crazy for it. But if it starts to become uh, that pot is recreational, able to be used here, I'm afraid that in the beginning, it's gonna be a craze. People are gonna go wild for it, they're gonna go gaga, and it might get a little out of control. But in the long run, I think that it could be very profitable. Mm -hmm. I think they were saying that it might make Colorado $500 million. Yes. Yeah. And here's the thing, too, I'm, I'm looking at it from that, that point as well. People are going to find it. They're going to find a way to get it from a dealer, from mm -hmm. wherever it might be. So rather than, you know, have that money kind of kind of sneak around under the radar, if you can build and make a profit and help our economy in some way by now legalizing this, it needs okay. to be taught. I mean, it, it could work. Like it's just like how cigarettes are taught, you know, to young children. Because that's the other fears: mm -hmm. is this now going to be more acceptable to our youth? Mm -hmm. You're, it's still going to be sold. It's still going to be taxed. It's still going to be only for adults. Mm -hmm. But I think that you need to really make sure that there's proper education, especially for the youth. I had heard. I don't know how true it is, but uh, the rules. A lot of people would go to Amsterdam for their marijuana, yes. get their marijuana. That the rules have changed over there. Before they were like, you know, every place you want it, you can get it. Yeah. Apparently, right. it's not the same over there anymore. So if you're planning on that big trip, if you already have your bags packed and are ready to head over to Amsterdam, you might want to look. it may not be. Go to Colorado. Yeah, go yeah. to Colorado instead. Well, that's Keep that thing. money Maybe right here in the USA. people are going to see that as, okay, you know, come on over. Right. They'll be taking more vacations I there. <laughs> I don't knows? know, but I think there's going to be have to be a lot of rules and restrictions with this becoming legal right. because they can't just have a free for all. There's got to be, I'm sure they're going to make sure that they, yes. I have careful. a plan behind I'm glad it. we're not doing it first. I have, I, have, I have, just for the record, I've never, never done I'm as pure as the driven snow. However, the, uh, oh, the Cheetos and the Goldfish. I love I both, like of those. both of those. So, I like both uh, of those. Cheetos I'll and Goldfish. I'll break them out. I'm That's all right. for that. <laughs> Legalize <laughs> Cheetos and Goldfish. They are. <laughs> Will do. Oh. <laughs> We well, asked our Facebook friends what they thought, and Diana Keown says it needs to be legalized nationwide, not just individual states. Tax it and sell it legally. It has less negative side effects than alcohol. Hmm. And Malin Pacheco Albo says, of course not. Don't have it legalized. Ew. It would just make it okay and easier than it already is, probably to minors. I pray they never do it. 
And Kim Souza says Rhode Island would definitely see a change if we did jobs, restaurants when it's taxed like smokes, not to mention how much more relaxed this state would be. <laughs> wow, okay, we Kim. would have some mellow people walking around. <laughs>